All right, so uh, the first obvious thing is to remove any kind of competing vegetation. So these are all autumn olive bushes that are growing under the tree and those are going to be taking away energy from the tree and also it's harder to get into the tree um, to pick the apples. Um, another thing that uh, a lot of people do that um, I think is a common mistake is they want to be able to go around the tree in their lawnmower and so they cut off all the lower limbs but those are also the easiest limbs to pick so eventually you just have kind of an umbrella shaped tree with everything out of reach and um, some apples when they're ripe they'll fall to the ground but a lot of them will just hang on the tree and unless you want to get up on a ladder and pick them um, it's a lot harder so I suggest leaving the lower limbs which uh, if there's no fence or any cage is probably going to be around four to five feet um, because of the deer on the island um, so this is actually a good one to leave. It's really accessible for picking. And then another thing that often happens, this tree is actually has a pretty good shape, but often the upper limbs will actually start to lean over and shade out the lower limbs. And you don't want that. You want the lower limbs to be out wider and then kind of like a Christmas tree, it gets more narrow as it goes up. And that way there's good light penetration into the whole tree. Um, and then looking at the upright branches, uh, you generally don't want a whole lot of competing leaders. The leaders are the top of the tree that's going all the way up towards the sky. Um, and if there's a bunch of those all crowded together, um, you won't get as nice of branching and um, there's a lot less airflow and light getting into the tree.